Now before you start working on your vehicle, remember to put it in park and chalk and set your parking brake. If you don't chalk your wheels or set your parking brake, your vehicle may shift into another gear and roll away and you definitely don't want that. So today I've discovered that my Ford Excursion will not go into park. So from a quick search on the internet, I discovered that usually the cause is some loose Torx bolts on that bracket or arm that goes to the shift selector cable. You can see it right here. And mine, if I can get my hand out of the way, is loose. You can see it wiggling there. There's a Torx screw here. Another one down off over there somewhere. So I'm going to tighten those up. Now the way I got to this is to remove the fuse panel cover and then the other cover down here that goes by the uh, brake and accelerator and all that other stuff. Position of those four studs that you put the nuts on. There's one there. Another one's way back under here. Right there. There's one on the other side. Right there, above the wiring harness, and then the last one right here. After I take those nuts off, the whole steering column drops down. It provides me this little bit of space to work on. So you can see the bolts that are studs that hold the steering column in place. There's one right in front of me here. There's another one way in the back right there. And then the exact same setup on this side here. You can kind of see them from the holes here in the steering column where they line up. There's one way in the back right there and then the same thing on this side here right there and then way in the back there. It's still kind of on it in this case. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten those up. Um, I'll let you know what size Torx they are. So here's my Torx keys or wrenches. The size I need is this here, a T30. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten up those two bolts and that should be it. Now if you accidentally popped your shift indicator like I did, this little white piece here just kind of slides in from the bottom from left to right. There you can see the black plastic tabs that hold it. You just uh, stick it under here on the parts that are indented there and then slide it in to the right. And it should lock right into place like it is here. And then that should snap back up under there on those clear tabs. Then the shift indicator cable, which is that orangish colored cable right there coming out of that uh, white and black piece, goes up to that hook. It's right there. So I'm going to hook that up so you can see what it looks like. So there you can see it. Cable running all the way down here. indicating park which is correct 